but this story for sure, a Texas teenager sharing a deeply personal story tonight of dying, seeing Jesus, and then coming back to life. And he is describing what he saw and heard during those minutes without oxygen. CBS 11's Ken Molestina with an exclusive tonight. Zach Clements is a strong teenager. He's a high school football player at Victory Life Academy in Brownwood, Texas, and obviously he's got a sense of humor. By all measures, he's a healthy young man, which is why it's still a shock. I was running and I had collapsed. That he dropped to the ground during PE class last week. Not sure why. It was a sudden cardiac arrest, according to his doctors. His mother was immediately called and even beat the ambulance to the emergency room. When they opened the ambulance door, he was blue, and they were on top of him doing chest compressions. Technically and medically, he was dead. And they said that I was, I was without a heartbeat for 20 minutes. And just as hospital staff were ready to make it official, they got a pulse. He was airlifted to Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth and woke up days later. His recovery has been incredible, but even more mind-blowing is the story he tells of what he saw during the time many believed he had died. I saw a man that had longish kind of ruffled hair with a kind of thick beard and it didn't take me long to realize that that was Jesus. He's describing what his family is convinced was a near-death miracle. I went up to him and he put his hand on my shoulder and told me that everything will be all right and not to worry. I was just calm and just at peace. The cynics out there will say, see too many movies. And for him to wake up and tell us something that he experienced like that, it's just, I mean, you can't explain it. It's not humanly possible to explain it. Billy Clements is the teen's father. He says accepting his son's experience as a miracle is the only thing that makes sense. And that's what we're standing on. That was a random word from God that we got. And we're going to hold on to that. Do you think this is something that might strengthen your faith? It is. I heard angels singing in the background. It may be a medical mystery for the doctors, but for this family, there's no question it was divine intervention. I'm just glad he decided to let me have my baby back. In Fort Worth, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. 20 minutes. Wrap your head around that. It's that is... so tough to wrap your head around. Wow.